the Beretta Model 85BB. Let's check it out. Beretta is the oldest firearm company still in existence, founded in 1526, and so for almost five centuries, Beretta has been producing really high quality firearms. Uh, one of the things I love about Beretta is just the uniqueness, and I love the open slide design, uh, I love the uh, quality of the firearms, and it's one of the guns that I do collect. Uh, Beretta makes rifles, shotguns, but pistols are my favorite. Now this is the Beretta Model 85 BB. It's a blowback 380 ACP. It is in a single stack, a double single action. Uh, they do make the Beretta Model 84, which is a double stack version of this same pistol. These eventually became known as the Cheetah series. Uh, but these are excellent firearms and really have stood the test of time to the point that Beretta just released their new version of the 80X, which is a 380 ACP double stack with a lot of upgraded features. But one of the big problems with 380 is this size single stack that holds eight rounds, Ruger brought in the LCP, and it's about half the size. And guys, it really changed the market. And so while the 380 ACP is honestly making a comeback with a number of companies, it makes an excellent self-defense round. And while this little tiny gun is fairly difficult to shoot, the Beretta Model 85 BB is sweet to shoot, and it just looks a lot better. Now this is an Italian police trade-in imported by Atlantic Firearms. It just happened to pop up on my email. I ordered it immediately and by the next day they were all gone. So one of the things about surplus firearms is they are typically limited supplies, especially now. The price in excellent condition ran just under $500, so they're not cheap. But to buy a brand new one like this is considerably more. Guys, this is just a tool, but this Beretta is a work of art. The Beretta Model 85 BB. Uh, this is a 380 ACP pistol, uh, it's double single action. It is a single stack, but it carries those same lines as the Beretta 92 or the M9, which was used by the US military for a number of years. These are very classic pistols. This is a police trade-in and they are used for security in Europe, but now they're starting to move to the nine millimeter. So we're getting these in and have been getting them in for a number of years. Uh, the prices have gone up somewhat though, uh, as there's not as much supply. And honestly, I felt very fortunate to get this. Now I already have the model 84, uh, and this is a double stack 13 plus one, 380 ACP, and it's pretty much the same pistol other than the mag capacity. And these are just excellent pistols. And in fact, I do carry this as a concealed carry piece in my rotation. Uh, but the single stack of the 85 just is a different kind of animal because it's so thin and yet it just holds eight rounds. Now let's go ahead and drop our magazine. The magazine follower really allows for very good reliability. And with this model, we did get two magazines. We're gonna go ahead and check to make sure the gun is unloaded, and it is. Uh, the open slide design of the Berettas just allows actually for a lot better reliability in itself. Uh, now, these guns were made from 1976 all the way really up till present time. Uh, with this being the BB, it was an earlier model. Uh, the 84 I have is a pre-suffix model, so it is one of the original early models. Uh, the FS model, which was their latest, was when they started naming it the Cheetah. Uh, but it's pretty much, there's a few differences, but pretty much the same type pistol. And now, Beretta has reintroduced the Model 80X, 
which is an upgraded version of this handgun in 380 ACP. And they made these in 32, 380, and in 22. Uh, the 380s and the 32s were usually used by police forces, so we're seeing a lot of surplus. The Model 86, which I did a review on a few months ago, is one of their tip-up barrel designs, and they bring a premium. But those are really beautiful guns to shoot, and I'll tell you what, guys, that tip-up barrel is a really cool feature, and it was really nice to get one of those out to the range. Now here is an original Model 70S. Uh, it's also in 380 ACP. It has a different style mag release and guns unloaded, but it is single action. And that means when I pull the trigger, there's no movement of the hammer. Uh, you load your magazine, rack your slide, and then it's ready to fire and you have your safety right here. Uh, these early pistols did not have a firing pin block. So, you know, carrying this with one in the chamber, uh, maybe on half cock would be okay. But you can see, I mean, this is definitely that same open slide design, blowback action. These are really sweet firearms. But with the 80 series, they went to that double single action. So I load my magazine, put it in the chamber, rack the slide, and now the gun is ready to fire. Uh, but if I drop the hammer, which you have to drop it manually, uh, you see that it does actuate the hammer. Really heavy trigger pull at first, and then subsequent shots will leave the hammer in the rear position for follow-up shots. Uh, one thing about this pistol is being the BB, it has a firing pin block built in. So you can actually carry this cocked and locked, and, and I love that. Uh, but again, it is just eight rounds, whereas the Model 84 has 13 rounds. It has the Beretta plastic type grips. Some did come with the wood grips. You have your magazine release right here in the normal position, which makes it really nice. Uh, you've got a tang that comes up that allows you to get a pretty high ride on the pistol. Uh, of course, we have our hammer that has just a hole through it. Your slide stop right here, engage your slide, and it is a slide release. Takedown lever right here, which is an upgrade over the 70 series. Because the slide is so thin, the serrations are fairly narrow, but actually fairly easy to grab hold of. And then up here at the front, we have this little cut, which makes it nice. You can actually do press checks with it. A beautiful blued finish, and it has an alloy aluminum frame, which makes it fairly lightweight. Uh, with the 70 series, it was all steel and it is a fairly heavy pistol to be so small and thin compared to the Model 85. And honestly, between the 84, which has the 13 plus one, and the Model 85, uh, except for the grip thickness, they're pretty much the same pistols. Uh, both have 3.82 inch barrels, and both are double action, single action, and both are blowback operated. But this 84 is one of the originals. It doesn't have a firing pin safety inside, and so this is you know, a little bit less safe to carry than the newer models, but the B had the firing pin safety. The BB had more serrations on it, and that was really the big switch. And then they had the F with the squared off trigger guard and a decocker, and then the FS had improved internals with the squared off trigger guard and the decocker. The new model 80X will be the same. The sights were upgraded to a white bar at the back, and then of course you have your white dot at the front. Uh, some of the older models were just black and the sights were difficult to pick up, but they're still very low profile. Again, guys, this was a police trade-in and it was carried a lot, shot little, but yet this is a very excellent example. One thing too they added with the later models was serrations on the back strap and the front strap. Here you can see with my Model 84, it's just smooth. And so this gives you a little more texturing to be able to grip this pistol when firing. But honestly, the recoil is extremely mild. Now one of the counterparts to the Beretta 85 is the Walther PPK. This is the PP, which has a little bit of a longer barrel. Uh, this one, again, has those same eight round magazine. Chamber's empty. It is double single action. It's all steel. And that's one of the things about the weight. So the Beretta came in actually a little lighter, but yet the Walther really is a very thin handgun, thinner than the Beretta. And so really the big advantage of the Beretta with this would be just that aluminum alloy frame. Uh, but the PP, the PPK, PPKS, I mean, those are classic 380 firearms. 
Here we have 9mm, 380 ACP, and 32 ACP. And this is all from Fiocchi, it's all full metal jacket. But to give you a comparison, 73 grain bullet with the 32, 1,000 feet per second, 160 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. Here with 9mm, 95 grain bullet, going 1,000 feet per second, 215 foot-pounds of energy. Uh, and then the 9mm is 115 grain, 1,200 feet per second, 368 foot-pounds of pressure. Uh, typically, your 380 is the lowest uh, considered an adequate self-defense round, but you really want to go with the jacketed hollow point. And then, of course, with the 9mm, it's considerably higher ballistics, but it's more recoil. The 380 ACP is very soft to shoot. And there are a bazillion type rounds that go, but these are pretty much apples to apples with all Fiocchi, all full metal jacket. Now in double action, we're gonna check the trigger pull. Uh, it's heavy, but it's smooth. All the way to the back. Reset, right there. It is not very tactile, uh, a little bit audible, and then we're back on it. In single action, a little bit of take up, and a nice crisp break. Trigger pull weight in double action with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brown Ales. Seven pounds, 14 ounces. It's heavy, it's long, but that can be part of your safety. Now with single action, three pounds, 10.8 ounces. Very crisp, just a nice trigger pull. And guys, while the single stack pistols have been very popular for decades. Uh, one of the problems with 380 ACP is because of the low pressures, they can really bring it down to this very small size. And again, the Ruger LCP, uh, it took out both smaller calibers and larger pistols in the same caliber. Um, again, it's a very utilitarian pistol. It's a tool. And I love the Ruger LCP. The LCP Max, which actually holds 10 rounds, is even a better option. So it gives you more mag capacity. And so when you have a single stack that's eight rounds and it's a much larger pistol, you know, the appeal just goes down as far as carrying. And so it's one of the things that happened with these 380 ACP, especially the single stack. What's really fascinating is just like the Model 84 with the 13 plus one, now Ruger has introduced their Security 380, which is carrying 15 plus one. And we're seeing more and more of this, and it's one of the reasons why Beretta is introducing their Model 80X. So 380 ACP is still an excellent caliber, especially for those who are recoil sensitive. And yet, you can really get some smaller pistols with a higher round capacity, and yet those that want to carry with less recoil can do so. I want to thank Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo. All made in the USA, and we're shooting some 95 grain, going about 960 feet per second and uh, these single stack magazines are very trim much different than my model 84 with the double stack but um, this is a really trim little sweet little gun I've had a number of Beretta cheetahs uh, one thing I love about this is that thin grip you know it's a small pistol it's very thin it only holds eight rounds, but it's got that nice feel to it. Now, personally, I'll take the double stack uh, 84 for concealed carry just for those extra rounds, but really for smaller hands, uh, it's got a really classic Beretta feel to it. It's one of the things, too, is the slide's really slick on here. The finish is beautiful. It's just a beautiful gun to take to the range. Uh, and again, even though it's just eight rounds, it has that blowback action. So, you know, it just gives you just a little bit more recoil than some because of the blowback, but because it's 380, it's very manageable. We haven't had any malfunctions with it. Uh, this is a police trade-in, uh, but we found that they've been well maintained, well taken care of on the whole, uh, typically. So, uh, beautiful bluing. I mean, this is a classic. And if you can find these for surplus especially, and there's been a number of these coming into the country, uh, they're just a great buy. And uh, I, I just love these old Beretta pistols. Uh, out of all the guns I have, I probably collect Berettas more than anything else. And I'm not a big collector, I'm a big shooter, but 
kind of like the Lamborghini. <laughs> you know, it's just beautiful form, beautiful finish. Yeah, very easy. If you're looking for something small, uh, very elegant, this would make a great concealed carry piece. To me, especially for those with a little bit smaller hands, gives you a lot of control. And man, you can really get those shots on target. Wow. <laughs> Now for disassembly. We're gonna drop our magazine, check the chamber. Uh, one of the things that makes this really easy is this lever. Now we bring it into slide lock, you have your lever, push down this button on the side and then it releases the slide lever. So then I can bring that down, release my slide stop and it just comes right off. It's very simple. Uh, then with our recoil spring, guide rod, all steel, nice little Recoil spring, barrel, comes out the back. Um, and it locks into the frame, so it's not a fixed barrel design, but it's definitely very fixed to the frame to where it makes it really accurate. Um, and you can see the internals, uh, very well-made firearm. One of the things I love is the longer slide rails, which really aid in slide to frame fit, which makes it a very smooth shooting gun. Gives it more stability on the frame. There are grooves on the barrel that slide right into the frame. And so this gives it that fixed barrel feel to it. Uh, and so it's not attached to the frame like it is on the Walders. And so you can actually remove that barrel. And to me, that is a superior way to be able to uh, clean the firearm. And it just gives it, again, a lot of stability with the barrel, which lends to really excellent accuracy. Of course, the gun's dirty from a shooting, but very simple, but yet definitely that Beretta design. Now for reassembly. We're going to drop in our barrel. It doesn't, because of that open slide, it kind of pops out. So once you get the recoil spring in there, it kind of locks it into place. Now one thing you'll notice is there is a small gap down here, a little ledge. You're going to want to take your recoil spring and put it on that ledge. So it's going to fit just like this. Don't let it rest on the top of that barrel block. Take your slide, put it over your frame, go ahead and lock it into slide lock, press your button here, bring your lever by, down, and now you're ready to go. I love that it does not have a magazine disconnect safety. And test for function. So guys, to wrap things up, uh, when these were first coming into the country, I mean, you know, they were coming in at 200, 250 bucks. Uh, now that's kind of doubled, uh, but still considerably less than the new pistol. Uh, it is a police trade-in, which gives it some history behind it. And it's just a beautiful surplus firearm. Plus these are very reliable and they're very accurate. And so while this may not be the low drag, low snag kind of pistol for tactical use, it still is a viable self-defense option and it's definitely one of those classics that's just absolutely beautiful. Guys, a more elegant firearm for a more civilized age. Well, maybe not so civilized, but these are definitely really classy type firearms. So whether you go with a single stack with a Model 85, or you up your game with a Model 84, these are really beautiful firearms, very easy to shoot. And while they are definitely larger than some of the micro 380s that are out on the market, these are much more shootable and much more collectible. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic.
a Model 70, uh, and this is the 70, or the 13 rounds of the Model 84. This is the Beretta Model 84. This is the, <laughs> and now they have a new line of AP. <laughs> be strong, be of good courage. And that traffic is like really loud. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless them. Especially from an old classic, and I'm just like rambling and rambling and rambling.